Glad you're back. Thank you. Did you see anything or anything, uh, any near-death experience of any kind? No, not that I know of. Really? I can remember. Did you see the tunnel? Did you see the tunnel? The light in the tunnel. The light in the tunnel, right, that they're talking about? Yeah. Did you? Okay, hi Mitchell, welcome back. Thank you. It's been, what, almost four years now, right? Almost. We haven't seen you then since the COVID, so now we got uh, the nails cutting that we have to do. But I know, you told me you just died, right? Three times and came back. I said, well, I said, welcome back, right? Yep. So what, what happened? Uh huh. His uh, blood pressure went way down. His heart rate was down to forties. Forties? Oh wow. Uh huh. Uh -huh. And when was this most recent one? Two weeks ago. Oh, two weeks ago. Went to the doctor. The doctor sent him home. Wow. I was out of the country, so I called him to see how he was doing, and he said uh, he had fainted. Really? Wow. Said I said you sound short of breath and. Uh, Mm -hmm. So you went to the hospital? My, hospital, what my happened? my daughter and took him to Torrance Memorial. Uh-huh, uh-huh. And, um, yeah, no sooner got in there and he had a cardiac arrest. Oh, really? Oh, wow. So what happened? How did you come back? Did I you... don't know. They shocked yeah. him three times. The third time he felt it. Oh, you felt it? Yeah. Wow. I'm glad you're back. Thank you. Did you see anything or anything, uh... Any near-death experience of any kind? No, not that I know of. Really? I can remember. Did you see the tunnel? Did you see the tunnel? The light in the tunnel. The light in the tunnel, right, that they're talking about? Yeah. Did you, you didn't see any of that? No. Okay, and then how did, how did you know you were back? You started hearing things or what? Started seeing faces above me. Uh-huh. Wow. Yeah. So you had a heart attack. But you said you died three times now, what does that mean? Sorry. I'm cutting a little bit at a time though. Well, his ejection fraction. They did a cardiac cath. He only had, um, his LAD was only 70%. Oh, really? Everything oh, else wow. was fine. But they stented him and... There's, so are there blockages? Just 70% on one. The others were open. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh. So what they're thinking is, and I asked the cardiologist, I said, do you think he could have had COVID? Mm -hmm. And this is a result, and he said he's had patients with these symptoms. Oh, really? Wow. And I, oh, had, yeah. I was vaccinated twice, and I had the booster shot. Mm -hmm. You didn't have any problem with the vaccines? You didn't no. get... Nothing no? I know. Nothing? But wow, that's, that's crazy. How's your diabetes through all this? Your sugar is well controlled now? We're hoping. Yeah. Getting better. Yeah. You you taking insulin or just take oral medicine? Metformin. Are you taking metformin? Mm -hmm. Lipizide, metformin, and Jardians. Jardians. He's gonna start. Oh really? That's the new one. Yeah. All three. One one doesn't do the job. No, the Jardians helps you um, urinate glucose, I guess. Oh you know really? That? Uh huh. Rid of sugar and water, and mm -hmm. it also helps with your heart. Oh, really? Oh, okay. You know, I'm diabetic, I don't take medicine. Oh, I've been diabetic for 12 years now. You don't take medicine? No, and I found a way to do it, and I teach it. I have a whole series of videos teaching people how to not take the medicine. Really? Yeah, it's on my YouTube channel. Oh, wow. Yeah, so I, I didn't, I don't like medicine. I don't want to be on medicine. Well, I hurt my back 12 years ago. Yeah. I was paralyzed. I broke my back, but I didn't know. One day it collapsed, I was paralyzed. So from that, I had so much pain, you know, I didn't want surgery, right? So I uh, kind of started rehabbing myself. I, I knew quite a bit about how to do it. So I started applying. A lot of stuff didn't work, but some things worked. So now, after 12 years, I haven't taken any medications. My sugar's uh, pretty good, always. 
But there are a lot of things you have to do, obviously. There's a lot of work, you know, involved. What's your A1C? My A1C is a little over six. Okay. Yeah, A1C is fine. Not bad. Yeah. And then I found out that obviously, you know, my diet is important, but what's more important is, is to cheat correctly. Yeah, right. you have to cheat correctly because if you can't cheat, then you won't be able to manage it. Right. So that's what I teach people to have a cheat day. You can start with a few days a week, but now I'm down to one day a week. Like the other six days, if I see sugar, I don't eat it. Yeah. But on the on Saturday, which is my cheat day, I um, I, I eat pizza, I eat hamburger, mm -hmm. and then amazingly, my sugar doesn't go on. Right. Yeah. You know what, that's what I said. Um, you need to have a cheat day. Yeah. Even when you want to lose weight. You have to have exactly. one day exactly. a cheat day, or else you'll go off the grid. You exactly. look forward to that one day. Yes. And a lot of times you don't even want to cheat that much, right? Yeah. Well, but you, you cheat without, without the guilt, you know? Yeah. Because guilt is a very stressful thing, and stress is number one cause of cause of sugar going up yeah. because it creates a, what we call a cortisol, which yeah. is a stress hormone. Yeah. And stress hormone is what makes your sugar to go up. Yeah. And that's how I became diabetic because I was, I was not on a bad diet or anything. I just had a lot of stress from being paralyzed, you know. I had lost so much pain. I couldn't sleep like one minute, you know. Yeah. I was in so much pain and I was heavily medicated, you know. So I didn't want any of that, you know. So. So I've been doing it. Mm, I, I'm still doing it, yeah. So I've been teaching it. I have a series of videos on it, so I highly recommend watching some of those. Yeah, you have to be on a, not only on a diet, but you have to take a lot of herbs. Okay. Found that the, there are a lot of herbs that are very effective at reducing your sugar and sensitivity of insulin. Actually, it works a lot of times better than medications. A lot of herbs. I take a lot of vitamins, I do a lot of exercise, you know, so there's there's a lot you can do so to really improve it and to reduce the amount of medications. You may not be able to be off completely like I am, but mm -hmm. I think there's a good chance that you may be able to, uh, you know, reduce quite a bit of it, right. which is what I recommend, especially if you're on two of them and still not able to do manage well, then you definitely yeah. need to either scale back or try not to be on that third one, you know? Right, we have to figure out the, um, we have to wait a few months before he has another A1C. His oh. is high, nine. Oh, really? Oh, that means your sugar was over 300. Mm. Yeah. The reason I know that is when I was first diagnosed, my sugar was uh, almost 400. Because I didn't know. Yeah. And my A1C was uh, almost nine. <laughs> You know, so it's definitely doable. If I can do it, I think most people, a lot of people, can do it. Sure. So I do highly recommend it. You know, are you on a special diet of any kind? Or? Uh, we're low sodium. That, yeah. Hmm? yeah, low sodium for mm -hmm. the heart. Mm -hmm. Low sugar. Low sugar. Mm -hmm. You know, counting carbs, proteins. Uh -huh. Oh, okay. So you you you're working with like a nutritionist, or yeah. Okay, yeah. so that's good. That's yeah, really he just good. got out of the hospital Thursday. Uh huh. Yeah. Do we take sample of this nail to see if you have fungus? Can you? Sure. I mean, that, have we done that? No. I think in the past we did. Yeah. Okay. I'll, I'll check the chart and then we can figure out if you're gonna. Give you some medication for the for the nail. They look like they have fungus, you know. Yeah. Okay. All right. Looking better. I'm gonna grind it down real well. Whatever left over, if I can send it off to the laboratory to do the testing to see if you have fungus. Okay. So how long you been diabetic? Diabetic. Oh really? When were you diagnosed? Uh huh. When was that? 2010. Oh, okay. Like 12 years ago. Was the stroke really bad? Uh, luckily with impaired vision. 
Oh, really? Other than that. And you didn't realize your sugar was going up? Yeah. Oh, wow. that want to come out. Cut this piece out of it there. So they got you a nutritionist when you were at the hospital? Yeah. They just met with them today. Oh, really? And then what did the nutritionist say? They have classes. I think they were set at the series of three. Uh -huh. If he can go to a watch online, I think we're going to go. Oh, okay. So we can get out and see what, yeah. Uh-huh. Get out. Uh-huh. We'll watch your video. Yes. And we have some uh, treatments that I recommend uh, upstairs as well. I have a wellness center upstairs. Uh -huh. That we have uh, oxygen tanks. We have IV treatments, like nutrition treatments. They're, they help uh, build the immune system, help give you more energy. Um, it's all about energy, right. how much energy you can have. And unfortunately, sugar has a lot of energy, but after a while, it crashes, you know? Right. That's why you don't have energy afterwards. So we want consistent energy. And that's, that's the key part to, you know, health, because you don't want up and down energy like a roller coaster, and that's the problem. A lot of times you eat something and you feel good, but it doesn't last. So that's kind of what we're trying to do. And people feel really good. They feel a lot more energetic, so they stay more active, you know? Yeah. A lot of diabetics don't want to uh, exercise because they, they, the sugar makes them crash, you know? Yeah, so you don't have any energy. You don't feel like doing any more extra things, you know? What kind of exercise do you do now? Walking. Walking, okay. Yeah, you, you watch my video, but you have to work on building muscle. Mm -hmm. That's where they store your sugar, the muscle. So without muscle, sugar floats around in your, in your bloodstream and it makes sure you not feel good, you know? Mm -hmm. So walking is great. I think you should continue doing that, but I highly recommend some kind of resistance exercise or weight training. Okay. Is the paramount for all the diabetics. I talk about all that on my video. What about a stationary bike? Oh, that'd be great too. Yes, yes. Because you're you using big muscles, like your leg muscles. Yeah, absolutely. Very good. So, well, great seeing you again. Thank I know you it's for been a while, but it. yes. Wow, but he's all done. Yeah, we're good. So, thank you for allowing us to film you today. Very good. Thank you. Thank you for your time.